Many people are not familiar with predators that call the desert home. Believe me, there are some dangerous creatures living there. Have you ever heard of the Gila monster? What about the Death Stalker scorpion? If you want to see some dangerous animals in action, keep watching as we look at the Desert Viper and other horrors of the sands or some hunting tactics. Oh, it's got oh shit. Oh fuck. Number 14. Sand Cat. Sand cats have a light sandy to grey brown coat with occasional stripes on the legs, which is slightly darker on the back and lighter on the tummy. From the corners of both eyes, bold red streaks stretch across each cheek. The head of a sand cat is broad, with huge eyes and low set ears. Their limbs are short. Sand cats can be found in three different places of the world the Sahara Desert in Africa, which spans through Algeria, Niger, and Morocco, the Arabian Peninsula, and Central Asia, which includes Turkmenistan, Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Sand cats consume mostly small rodents, with hares, birds, spiders, insects, and reptiles thrown in for good measure. They are daring snake hunters, taking on deadly vipers and other snakes as prey. Sand cats are opportunistic feeders by necessity, as they live in a relatively desert environment. Sand cats, like many desert-dwelling creatures, may go for weeks without drinking water. Instead, they will get any moisture they require from their prey. Sand cats are primarily nocturnal and crepuscular animals that hide in tunnels to avoid the desert's severe heat. They rely on their capacity to dig for protection from the elements. Sand cats can live up to 13 years in human care. The wildlife expectancy is unknown. Number 13. Horned Lizards Because of its squat, flattened appearance and short, blunt snout, the short horned lizard is commonly referred to as a horned toad or horny toad. From southern Canada to Guatemala, there are around a dozen identified horned lizard species found in the deserts and semi-arid habitats of North and Central America. The formidable crown of horns decorating their heads and the many spines on their backs identify species. Their color, which varies depending on the surroundings, might be yellowish, gray, or reddish brown. And when combined with their form, provides them with excellent surface camouflage. They eat ants mostly, waiting for an unwitting ant to crawl by before snapping it in half and consuming it whole. Grasshoppers, beetles, and spiders are also known to be eaten by them. Shorthorned lizards are preyed upon by a variety of animals, including hawks, roadrunners, snakes, lizards, dogs, wolves, and coyotes, despite their spiky appearance. As a result, they've developed a pair of extraordinary abilities in addition to their natural camouflage. Short-horned lizards may inflate their bodies up to double their size, resembling a spiny balloon to scare off hungry predators. If that isn't enough, certain animals use one of the most peculiar defense mechanisms known to man. They spew blood from their eyeballs. The threatening squirting blood comes from ducts in the corners of their eyes and can travel up to three feet. It contains a chemical that is toxic to dogs, wolves, and coyotes, and is supposed to confound would-be predators. Short-horned lizard populations have been declining across the range in recent decades. The pet trade, habitat destruction, and efforts to remove ants, their basic food, have all contributed to this. Number 12. Roadrunners Roadrunners belong to the cuckoo family of birds, and while they don't look like their cuckoo relatives, their call sounds like a coo. Roadrunners are primarily terrestrial creatures that can fly for brief periods of time, but do so infrequently due to their exceptional sprinting skills. While roadrunners are fast for birds on foot, they're not quite as fast as coyotes, as depicted in cartoons. A roadrunner's top speed on land is roughly 15 miles per hour. However, it may go considerably faster in brief bursts. For a two-foot-long bird, that's an astonishing pace. Roadrunners usually amble around in search of a meal, but when they detect a fast-moving reptile or insect, they dash into action. Roadrunners have little motivation to fly because they can run at speeds of over 15 miles per hour. 
and most of their prey is on the ground. When they need to flee a predator, reach a limb or catch a flying insect, roadrunners will fly for short distances, usually only a few seconds at a time. Roadrunners are omnivores, who consume almost anything they come upon on the ground, including rattlesnakes and other dangerous prey. Roadrunners eat scorpions, frogs, reptiles, small mammals, birds, and eggs as their primary food. But if a pair of roadrunners wishes to eat a rattlesnake, they team up and peck the snake's head until it dies. They catch rats and lizards in a similar manner, snatching the prey and crushing it against a rock before devouring it. Fruits, seeds, and plants make up about 10% of their diet. Number 11. Lagar Falcon The Lagar Falcon is a falcon species that can be found in southeast Iran, southeast Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and northwest Myanmar in the Indian subcontinent. The species was once one of the most abundant falcons in India and Pakistan, but its population has declined dramatically in recent years because of numerous behaviors. The bird is one of the least studied species in the Indian subcontinent. Open areas and open plains with scattered trees make up the typical Lager falcon habitat. The bird is occasionally seen in human populations. This type of bird is usually found in dry woods and farmed regions. They spend most of their time sedentary, only moving around their habitats when foraging. They can be found from sea level to 3,280 feet in elevation. These birds enjoy humid climates, which is why they are found on the Indian subcontinent. Birds such as pessarines, game birds, and doves are known to feed the lager falcon. Large insects, lizards, and small mammals are also eaten by them. There's a reason these creatures are known as birds of prey. They are vicious and will attack if they feel threatened. Number 9. Saharan Horned Viper Attack The Saharan Horned Viper is a rattlesnake. This pit snake looks like a little devil with its two small horns on its head above each eye. The horns are probably just there to cover the snake's eyes and not for this little crawler to be cast in a future rendition of the omen. The Horned Viper enjoys nighttime strolls in the Sahara Desert on the African continent. It is very much into all-inclusive deals where it can relax and enjoy a complete rodent buffet. It's not a very big snake at 20 inches long, but it has quite a potent bite. Although not usually fatal, it can have serious consequences. The venom this snake concocts is made up of 13 different toxins, so it's kind of a minestrone of deadly poisons that can cause massive swelling, acute pain, excessive bleeding, and a whole other plethora of ailments. Not so good. Not good at all. When it's hunting, this snake likes to hide in the sand, exposing only its horns and eyes. When it strikes its prey, it explodes out of the sand with stunning swiftness, lethally striking its victim. Number 8. Sandfish A sandfish is a lizard that lives in the sands of North Africa and southwestern Asia. The term sandfish comes from the fact that it swims across the loose sand of its favorite habitat. These lizards have been specially adapted to live in sandy environments. They're around 6 to 7 inches long, with a medium thick body and a short tail. The lower jaws are countersunk behind the snout and upper jaws, which is a common adaptation in desert animals to keep sand out of the mouth. The eyes are small, and the lower lid has a clear window produced by numerous huge scales. The scales on the body are smooth. Scales completely encase the ears, hiding them from view. The toes are flattened and contain a series of elongated scales down their sides, and the limbs are well formed. This is likely to let them stroll across the sand surface at night, but they spend most of their time below the surface, where they move by folding their legs back and swimming with sinuous lateral movements. The upper half of the body is light tan, with some dispersed, vertically elongated brown spots on the sides, as would be expected in such a habitat. Number 7. Deathstalker Scorpion Deserts are home to a variety of harmful creatures. The Deathstalker Scorpion is one of the most dangerous to humans. Unlike many visitors to the desert, especially those who are unfamiliar with this specific habitat, Deathstalker scorpions are well-suited to desert life. 
The Death Stalker Scorpion can be found throughout North Africa and the Middle East, as well as Central Asia, India, and Kazakhstan. Beetles, flies, termites, and crickets, as well as other arachnids, make up most of their food. Owls and bats, as well as other Death Stalker scorpions and centipedes, are predators. Bats appear to be immune to their venom. The sting of a Death Stalker is known to be exceedingly painful, and if the venom has penetrated human skin, it can cause nausea, vomiting, headaches, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and apparent swelling at the sting site. Convulsions and fluid retention in the lungs may occur in more vulnerable individuals, such as youngsters and the elderly. Death can occur because of a cardiac and respiratory failure in such people. Number 6. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake has a triangular-shaped head and a large body. On either side of its face, two dark diagonal lines stretch from the eyes to the mouth. Along the back, it contains black diamond-shaped designs. Just above the rattles, the tail features black and white bars. This snake is classified as a generalist, which implies it isn't choosy about where it lives. Deserts, grassy plains, woodlands, rocky hillsides, and coastal locations are all good places to look for it. It may be found at elevations ranging from sea level to 6,500 feet. This snake eats mice, rats, rabbits, gophers, ground-dwelling birds, lizards, and other animals. Diamondbacks have a lot of predators, but not all of them want to eat them. Deer, antelope, cows, and horses perceive the diamondback as a threat and may attempt to trample or stomp on it. Predators that hunt these snakes include eagles, hawks, roadrunners, king snakes, coyotes, bobcats, and foxes. Diamondbacks will commonly cling to low-growing shrubs, heaps of natural or manufactured garbage, or rocks during the scorching midday hours. They'll also use other animals' underground burrows. They hibernate in caves or similar sites during the winter. In captivity, these snakes can live up to 20 years. Number 5. Golden Mole Golden moles are small insectivorous burrowing mammals, endemic to southern Africa. You can see this golden mole come up for some food in this video. Because the eyelids and the skin around the eyes fuse together at a young age, Golden moles don't have external eyes. While digging, their noses end in a hard leathery pad that keeps sand out of the nostrils. The golden mole may be blind and no bigger than a ping pong ball, but it can strike at its prey with pinpoint accuracy. Number 4. Desert Fox This horned snake is looking for a place to hide. A ferocious foe appears to have spotted the snake. Despite his gentle appearance, the fennec fox is regarded as one of the desert's most ferocious predators. He devises his strategy as soon as he sees the snake. Because of his light weight and quick reflexes, he is a formidable opponent for the snake. The fox attempts to bite the snake on the head, but the margin of error is extremely narrow. Any incorrect movements results in certain death. The snake tries desperately to keep up with the tiny fox, and directing his bite would turn the tide of battle. But the fox is too fast for the snake, and the reptile is toast. A snake is more than just food in this case. A battle between these two is a battle for survival. A fennec fox is hunting a much smaller prey, but it is still a scorpion. The fox appears to have mastered the art of attacking dangerous prey such as snakes and scorpions. And this scorpion is aware of this, so it hides among the tall grass. But the fox pulls it out and bites it again making sure it doesn't get stung. After breaking the scorpion's tail, the fox can rest and eat the rest of its hardy meal while taking its time. Number 3. Gila Monster The Gila Monster found in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico is one of the world's few venomous lizards. The Gila Monster has a strong, painful grip when it bites, but it rarely kills humans. The venomous Gila Monster reaches lengths of two feet and can weigh up to 5 pounds. Gila's are easily identified by their black bodies with striking pink, orange, or yellow patterns. They were named after the Gila River Basin in Arizona, where they were first discovered. This Gila monster eats a rabbit, just like a snake would, head first, and then swallowing it whole. The Gila lizard is the United States' largest venomous lizard. 
scrubland, succulent desert, and oak woodland are all home to the Gila monster. Although the Gila monster is a desert creature, it prefers to dwell near water. Number 2. Sand Lizard The sand lizard is the UK's rarest lizard, found only in South and West England, as well as a few locations in Wales. A small population can be discovered on the Isle of Col in Scotland's Inner Hebrides, where scientists released 39 individuals in the 1970s to see if they could live that far north. Sand lizards may be found throughout much of Europe outside of the UK, except for Scandinavia and the Iberian Peninsula, where they have a limited range. It can also be found in Russia's western regions, Mongolia and China. Spiders and insects are eaten by sand lizards. Reptiles are cold-blooded and have a high energy efficiency. Thus, they don't need to eat much. Kestrels, corvids, badgers, and the UK's rarest snake, the smooth snake, are among the native species that occasionally eat sand lizards. Domestic cats prey on them on heaths that are close to urban centers. Loss of vegetative cover, such as that caused by fire, can make sand lizards more vulnerable to predators, making them more prone to predation. Sand lizards hibernate in burrows dug by them. Males can start hibernating as early as late August or September, but females usually start a month later in September or early October. Number 1. Desert Monitor Lizard This desert monitor lizard is digging inside what looks like a rabbit's den and is eating the baby rabbits. Carnivorous, monster monitor lizards devour eggs, fish, birds, insects, small mammals, and even smaller reptiles. Mammals seem to control the Earth at times. There are well over 5,000 species, invading every continent. But it's a different story in Arabia, where reptiles reign supreme. A Goanna marshal finds out that rabbits are living on his golf course, after numerous complaints by the club members. So he follows and invades a rabbit hole on the golf course and informs the rabbit he is being evicted. When the rabbit refuses, the goanna kills and gulps it up. This desert monitor attacks a viper and crushes the tail end of the snake. When the lizard moves to the middle of the snake's body, the snake is destroyed and the lizard swallows it whole. Lizards and snakes are scary, but I must say I was impressed by the Gila monster. Which one impressed you the most? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for our look at the Desert Viper and other horrors of the sands or some hunting tactics. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.